Hello, welcome to the Alan Baldi video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining sex linked inheritance. So, why do we get sex linked inheritance? So, it relates to the X and the Y chromosome and their differences. So, it's involved in the features and the characteristics that, um, for which genes and alleles are found on the X and Y chromosome. So, why do we get it? Well, the reason is because the X and the Y chromosome are different. The X chromosome is a lot larger, a lot more base pairs, and contains a lot more genes, whereas the Y chromosome has far fewer genes and is a lot smaller. So we'll look at why that has an effect on inheritance. So we'll just take a very simple example um, using colour blindness. And obviously this is a female, so they would be XX. And this is a male, they'd be XY. So colour blindness is basically a deficiency in colour vision. So, and the gene for this colour vision is found on the X chromosome. So, if we just pick a loci at random and just say, imagine it's here. So if a woman, a female, had a faulty colour vision gene on one of their X chromosomes, the chances are that they'll have a functional one for the same gene on the, their other X chromosome. So that means that they won't be colourblind because they still have a functional allele for colour vision. However, if a male has a dysfunctional colour vision gene on their X chromosome, there isn't the same thing on the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome does not contain that same gene for colour vision. So if a male just has to inherit one faulty copy of the colour vision gene, and they would be colourblind, like me. By the way, that doesn't mean I can only see in black and white. So that is why males are far more likely to be colourblind than females, because they don't have the gene on the other chromosome to um, overpower or to mask the effects of that faulty colour vision gene. Females can, can still be colourblind, it's just very unlikely because they would have to inherit two faulty genes, one on each of their X chromosomes. So we're going to a, another example, and this one is tortoise shell cats. So these are cats that have um, kind of orange and black patches on them, and they would always be female. And the reason for that is this. Now, when we do the kind of um, indicate the genes on, that are related to the X chromosome, we kind of and put them next to the letter X. So X means on the X chromosome, the C means this gene is related to colour, and the O would represent orange fur, and the B would represent the allele for black fur. So that's what they So, orange and black. So what we have to do is we have to see what the possible combinations could be for female, and could be for male. So a female could either inherit XCO and XCO. That would mean they were orange all over, or ginger. They could inherit XCB and XCB. That would mean they were black. But they could also inherit X. C, B, and X, C, O. And this is what makes them tortoise shell, kind of multicolored. Okay. And the reason they are tortoise shell comes on to another thing, which is that in mammals, in female mammals, one of the X chromosomes in every cell switches off. So only one X chromosome in a female per cell is active. So that means that depending on whereabouts in their body, the X chromosome switches off. Some of them, some of the cells will appear to be black, some of the fur will appear to be black, and some will appear to be orange, giving them that tortoise shell effect. However, males, the options are much more limited. Because they only get one X chromosome, they can either be X, C, O, Y, making them orange or ginger, or they could be X, C, B, Y, making them black. 
That explains the difference in inheritance between male and female cats. So let's just do a genetic cross diagram to show what the possible combinations of a mating is. So we'll say we're going to mate a tortoise shell female with a black male, and let's see what the options are. So a tortoise shell female, we know that her genotype must be this, XCB and XCO. A black male, we know that they must be XCB Y. So then all we have to do is complete this genetic cross diagram, which I'm sure you've done things like this many times before. So X, C, B, X, C, B. X, C, B, X, C, O. X, C, B, Y. And X, C, O, Y. So, these are the possible combinations that can be made from a black male breeding with a tortoiseshell female. So these offspring, what we would see is we would see a black female, XX, but both with Bs, a um, tortoiseshell female, because they have a B and an O, making them black and orange, and we would have a black male, and we'd have an orange or a ginger male. So that is how we would do a genetic diagram to show that. So if they give you a question related to sex-linked inheritance, make sure you put the letter X there with the, um, also with the other letter indicating the specific allele. And make sure you pick out the key information from, from the question so you can produce a genetic diagram like that one. If you have any questions, make sure you comment on the video. Please like, share and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Rushliff Bio. Any requests, don't hesitate to message me. Thank you very much.